Israel Ministry says offensive in Rafah will begin by Ramadan if hostages are not returned. Israel will expand military operations in the southernmost Gazan city of Rafah if hostages held by Hamas are not returned by the start of Ramadan. War Cabinet Ministry Benny Gantz has warned the world must know and Hamas leader must know if by Ramadan our hostages are not home, the fighting will continue to the Rafah area. Gandas told a gathering of American Jewish organization in Jerusalem on Sunday. We will do so in a coordinated manner, facilitating the evacuation of civilians in, the, in dialogue with our American and Egyptian partners minimize civilians casualties. The Israel ministers added, the Muslim holy month is expected to start on March 10th or 11th Israel believes that 130 hostages remains in Gaza 101 are alive and 29 are dead following Hamas October 7th attack which kills around 1200 people in Israel Israel subsequently war on Hamas has killed more than 29,000 people and injured another 68,000 in Gaza according to the health ministry in the enclave. Ganda's comments appear to be the clearest indication yet of timeline around an Israel ministry operation in the southern Gaza city where more than 1 million displaced Palestinians are taking shelter near the Egyptian border. To those saying the prices is too high, I say this very clear. Hamas has a choice. They can surrender, release the hostages and the citizens of Gaza will be able to celebrate the holiday of Ramadan. Ganda says the comments come aimed stuttering talks aimed at securing release of hostages and a longer term case fire in Gaza. In its latest proposal, Hamas has demanded the gradual withdrawal of Israel troops from the enclave and eventually a permanent end to the war, as well as the released of Palestinian prisoners in Israel, including those serving life sentences as part of any hostage deal. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has described Hamas' proposal as decisional. Israel has said it is planned to expand its ground operation into Rafah as part of its goal to destroy Hamas after the October 7th attack. But there is growing cancer that are roughly 1.5 million Palestinians sheltering. They will have nowhere to go. Many in the international community including the United States and the United Nations have warned against Israel's operation in Rafah. With the UN aid chief Martin Griffith says such an offensive could lead to the slaughter and leave humanitarian effort in Gaza at death's door. Neighboring Egypt has also been on edge over Israel's possible operation hostages is security presence at its border with the Gaza stripes with extra troops and machinery as well as deploying more soldiers at checkpoints leading to the Rafah border. Egypt's security build-up comes aimed fears of the war spilling over into the territory should Israel begin its operation in Rafah, with more than half of Gaza's population sheltering just steps away from the front line. Egypt's foreign ministry spokesman has warned that targeting this area of the stripes which is filled with so many civilians possess a danger. Satellite images also shows that Egypt appears to be building a massive miles wide pufferring zone and well along its border with southern Gaza. CNN reported last week Egyptian Foreign Minister Samah on Sunday denied that there were any kind of preparation taking place at the border, saying the reporter activity 
facilities where the ordinary maintenance of our border and our border fortification it is in no way related to providing any camps or shelters on our side of the border Shokari said in an interview with Sky News stressing that displacing Palestinians out of Gaza will amount to a liquidation of the Palestinian causes. Meanwhile, Israel has continued to press ahead with its operation in other parts of Gaza. After days of bombardment, Israel forces last week raided what was the largest hospital still functioning in the enclave Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunis, rendering it completely out of the service and unable to handle critical cases. The Gazan Health Ministry said Sunday dozens of healthcare workers who were arrested and some 80 patients transferred out of the hospital to a known location. At Ministry spokesman said electricity has been cut off and seven people have so far died as a result, the spokesman added. CNN cannot independently verify casualties figures in figures in Gaza due to limited access to the area. The Israel ministry said it had credible evidence that Hamas had previously held hostages may be at the medical complex Hamas said it had no business in the capital in the hospital.